Welcome back to our yearly look at some of the MMORPGs we used to play. This time, we're taking a look at Tree of Savior. And we're gonna do an overview, answer some of the questions you might have like, is it worth it? Has anything changed since the last time we played the game? Has it been updated? And more importantly, do people still play the game? Join me in this journey as we play the game from the beginning to show you guys the city of and go through some of its contents. Tree of Savior is a free to play PC MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Welcome back, Saviors. GH here. Before we play the game from the beginning, first, what is Tree of Savior? It's a massively multiplayer online role playing game which features a distinctive art style inspired by Lithuanian culture and mythology. Players can choose from a variety of classes and engage in quests, exploration, and combat within a fantasy world. Tree of Savior incorporates elements of both traditional MMORPG gameplay and more modern features, offering a unique experience for players in the genre. Now going to Tree of Savior's Steam page, they describe the game as an MMORPG in which you embark on a journey to search for the goddess in the world of chaos. Fairytale-like colors accompanied by beautiful graphics in TOS will have you reminiscing about precious moments all throughout the game. Now, the standout feature of Tree of Savior is its class system, where players can choose from a vast array of classes. At the beginning, you can choose a base class and then work your way to create a character build from three more different classes, each with its own unique skills and abilities. This extensive class system allows for deep customization and specialization, enabling players to create diverse and personalized characters tailored to their preferred playstyle. Now, Tree of Savior made its debut on March 28th, 2016, developed by IMC Games, a South Korean video game development company. IMC Games is known for its focus on MMORPGs and has a reputation for creating immersive online worlds. Before Tree of Savior, IMC Games gained recognition for its earlier title, Granado Spada, released in 2006. Granado Spada was notable for its unique gameplay mechanics and its blend of strategy and role-playing elements. Tree of Savior has experienced a journey marked by significant changes and adaptations since its release. Initially launched with high expectation and excitement for players, the game faced both praise and criticism as players delved into its world and systems. One of the key aspects of Tree of Savior's evolution has been its continuous effort to refine and improve gameplay mechanics. The introduction of updates and patches aimed to address issues such as class balance, quest progression, and player experience. These changes often spark discussion and debates within the community, reflecting the diverse opinions and preferences of players. In 2018, the Rebuild update was introduced as a major overhaul to the game's rank advancement system. This update sought to address long-standing issues with class diversity and viability by restructuring the way players advance their characters. By allowing more flexibility and options in class selection, the Rebuild update aimed to breathe new life into character customization and gameplay variety. And on November 2, 2022, we witnessed the release of Tree of Savior M in Korea, which plays similarly to the PC version, adding to the uncertainty regarding support for the PC version and resulting in mixed reactions among players. Moreover, on May 30th, 2023, a new server hosted by a different company, Papaya Play, emerged. Initially, there was a surge in player numbers, but unexpectedly, the player base dwindled rapidly, leaving the server in a precious state. Many players seemingly realized that the developer-run server offered a more stable and promising environment for their investment of time and effort. Despite these efforts to enhance the game, Tree of Savior has continued to receive mixed feedback from players. Some have praised its unique art style, intricate class system, and engaging world design. Others, however, have raised concern about various aspects of gameplay, including balance issues, pacing, optimization, and monetization. Now, Tree of Savior's monetization model underwent a notable transition from a buy-to-play format to a free-to-play structure in May 2016. Now, this change is aimed to address declining player numbers and broaden the game's accessibility. With the removal of the initial purchase requirement, players could enter the game without financial barriers, potentially revitalizing interest and community engagement. 
However, this shift also prompted adjustment in the game's monetization strategies to sustain development and operational expenses. One such adaptation was the introduction of the dreaded Letitia's Cube, a gacha box system that sparked controversy within the community due to its random rewards and potential impact on gameplay balance. Aside from the Letitia's Cube, Tree of Savior also offers optional in-game purchases to generate revenue. These purchases encompasses a range of items and features including cosmetic items, convenience enhancements, premium subscription, stat resets, gear upgrade items, and limited time offers. While these options provide players with opportunities to customize their experience, the inclusion of certain items have raised concerns about the game's balance and potential for pay-to-win dynamics. Nonetheless, these monetization strategies aim to support the game's ongoing development while offering players additional avenues for personalizing their gameplay experience. Now here's an update on what's happening to Tree of Savior nowadays. Let's focus on the updates the game received in 2024. In January 8, 2024, the game introduced a new class called the Illusionist. February 5 saw the release of episode 16-1 titled The Other Revelation bringing the Winged Hussar class a new raid and equipment addition. March 4, 2024 introduced the God Eye, an archer class, and in April 1 brought another new class, the Desperado. These updates demonstrate a consistent schedule of monthly addition, although the developers have historically experienced delays, sometimes taking up to half a year to implement significant changes. Despite this, Tree of Savior in 2024 remains well updated. Now, to show you more of the features, the city, if it's still alive, and what the game has to offer, let's go play the game from the start. Let's go play the game. Okay, what is this? Why is this some kind of a K-pop, man, login screens of Tree of Savior? Okay, anyway, here's the server list. We got the North American server over here, Europe, South America, and Asia. So the most populated server in here is the Asian server. But we're going to create a character in the North American server. Because I think I don't have any more character slots over here. So we're gonna go to the Asian server afterwards to show you guys how many people are over there. So anyway, let's go to the North American server, create a character so I can show you guys the character creation. And maybe a little bit at the beginning. And here's the character creation. We got the scouts over here, the swordsmen, the archers, the priest, the wizards, and okay, there it goes. Only the wizards. There goes the classes, so we're gonna play as a scout, name our character, and here goes the hair customization. There are more hair customization in game, guys. And there goes the skin customization, and then here goes the costume preview. Can we close up? Oh yeah, we could. There we go. It's been a while since I really played Tree of Savior, so I apologize if I can't find <laughs> stuff in the menus. Okay, anyway, let's rotate our character. There it goes. This should be good enough, right? Create a character. Usable name, will you create? Yes. No, we don't want to see the intro again. Okay, so here goes the beginning of the game. It's teaching us how to play. I mean, the basic controls of the game. So let's do this. Let's follow the tutorial quickly. There are different types of controls over here. You can use your controller, not natively though. I mean, if you're using a generic controller. Okay, so is that it? Man, these tutorials. Okay, I think we're done. So how about let's check out the settings so I can show you guys the controls. You can try controller mode, keyboard mode, and mouse mode. I'm gonna do mouse mode because it's WASD and I have the option to use the mouse to click to move. So let's close this. As you can see, we can click to move with mouse mode. We can also use WASD to move. Space to jump. And then you can just configure 1, 2, 3, 4 to Q, E, F, R, whatever you want. Okay, so when I logged in, I saw items go into my inventory. And as you can see, I think these are beginner support items. Let's check it out. Let's open this. Receive. Set a reward. Okay, how about pistol? Okay, there it goes. I equip the pistol. And a sword. There it goes. We got a sword and a pistol. Is that it? Oh, okay. So the armors are auto-equipped. And what is this? Another Popo Boost event? Apply? Okay, it's only for the gear. Okay, let's try applying for it. Type events. Yes, is that it? Are we done? What happened? Okay, took a while before it loaded. And the game is taking me somewhere. The game took me in Orsha and I'm now level 490. OMG, I thought it's just the gear event 
No, it's a jumping event. Okay, so when you get here, you probably don't know what to do, like me. <laughs> okay, let's open up our bag. So we get some class change voucher, just in case you made a mistake or you want to change your class. By the way, guys, there's three classes over here on one character. The base one is the scout, the one that we picked. Then you can pick three from over here. Assassin, Outlaw, there's a lot of classes for the scouts. And this Desperado over here is the newest scout class. You can only get this from the Letitia's Cube, but other players can sell it in the auction if I'm correct. We're gonna check it out in a bit. Okay, so can we advance? Even though we don't have the voucher? Nope. Man, I don't know this. Uh, so how about, let's try a build that's tried and tested. Bullet marker, of course. Advance, nope. <laughs> Class change. Change, what's happening? Okay, man, I don't understand what to do. This caught me off guard because I didn't know that the level of event is still up. Okay, so there it goes. We can add some stats. If you're a scout, the stats is dex. To identify what's your stat, just look at the high stats and that's your main stat. So just add 50 points. Apply. You should be good. Oh, so we only leveled our base level. Our class level is still level 1. Is there an item over here that levels are... I think we have it. No? Class change voucher. No, this is not it. I think what I'm looking for is the cards that gives class EXP. But for some reason, I don't have it. Man, there's probably a new system. Okay, anyway. Oh, okay. I found it, guys. It's over here at the Popo Boost. Why didn't they give it immediately? Man. Okay, anyway, I think we need to press this receive rewards. Let's press it. And there it goes. We got the class EXP card box. So let's open up our bag. What is this? Vivora Vision Register Voucher. A free Vivora, okay. Class EXP. Let's use this. Okay, now we're level 15 and we can pick. Our first class, let's pick bullet marker. I'm just picking what I remember, guys. And then second class EXP card. Use it again. Maybe linker. And then third class EXP card. Let's pick. What do we pick? Can we pick Shinobi? Yeah, we can. But yeah, let's pick Shinobi. Ooh, I'm gonna need a voucher. So if you want Shinobi, but we don't have any money. Yeah, you can buy it in the auction, by the way. You just need to look for the auction. It's over here. Open up your map. There goes black market. Go over here and you can find. Okay, let me just show it to you. As you can see, there's a lot of people over here. The North American server doesn't have that much people. As you can see, in Channel 1, there's only 20 people. In the Asian server, there's about 70 people. I'm gonna show you in a bit. I'm gonna transfer. I have a character over there. Okay, there goes the market. Man, it's showing me the tutorial. How about, let's type Shinobi. Search. Man, nothing's appearing. What's happening here? Okay, there goes the vouchers. God Eye Special Class Unlock Voucher 35 million. How much is the Desperado voucher? Oh, there it goes. What? It's 50 million. It has other stuff too. Okay, this is farmable. It's gonna take a few days though. Okay, anyway, let's pick another class. So we can't pick Shinobi. Let's just pick Sheriff. Okay, there it goes. This is a tried and tested build. Okay, so after picking your classes, Use the final EXP card so you can gain a little bit more points so that you can add skills. I don't know if there are people who make guides for Tree of Savior nowadays. And before I used to make some. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so let me just... I'm gonna do that. You're not gonna see it though. Okay, so what else did we get? We get some attribute points. These attribute points, it's for this. So after adding a skill, you can strengthen your skills by adding more attribute points. So that's what it's, you can get more of these attribute points on the quest. Where's the quest? There it goes. Oh yeah, by the way, if you don't know what to do, just follow this quest line over here. When you press the quest, you will see this episode 1, special vocation. When you press quest list, it's already checked. Okay, but can we get this? Oh yeah, we can. Okay, how far? Okay, there it goes. So uh, I think if you participated in this Popo Boost, episode 14-2 is already completed. So you can just receive the rewards over here. As you can see, you get a tome. This is for the arts. And some weapon scrolls and EXP tomes. So you can easily follow the quest line over here because as you can see, the rewards for episode 15-1 is still not receivable. So you just press this quest list. Click the first quest over here. It's happening. Okay, I think you need to do the episode 14 quest first. Is it? Or... Oh yeah, this one. Use the shortcut. And then when you check this quest over here, 
it should give you a teleportation icon. Oh, that's why it doesn't have a teleportation because here goes the quest. You need to take a quest from this one, from Inessa Hammondale. That's the quest. That's why the Popo Boost drops you over here because your first quest is this one. So you just need to follow this quest over here. Okay, what else did we get? That's mostly it. What is this? Mystic Tome. Okay. It's for you adding arts, if I'm correct. Is it? Let me read the description. It should be. Okay, how about let's check out the Popo Boost again. What do we get if we upgrade? Okay, Gem Selection Box. Class Unlock Voucher. Oh, look at this. You get free vouchers when you get this. Okay, this is nice. So you just play. So how about this one over here? Oh, I can already receive this up to where? Oh, look at this. I can already get it up to max. What the flop? So this premium, I need to pay for this. Okay, I uh, see, I see. So there it goes. How about let's try taking this reward over here. We got goddess token. What is this? Entry voucher, gem selection box. More gem selection box. I don't know what this item over here. And this one is another gem box. Okay. When we press receive reward, I can't take it yet. Because I think I need to reach this gear score. And I think we can check the gear score at the character information. Oh yeah, there it goes. We got zero. <laughs> okay. Okay, so when you get into the game and you're here, your first quest is this NPC over here. Just talk to these NPCs and they're going to give you a quest. Just follow it and you're good to go. You're going to learn the skills along the way. Just remember to receive the class EXP cards over here. Set up your skills afterwards and you should be good to go. So how about let me switch to my other character at the Asian server so I can show you that there's still a lot of people playing this game. Be back in a bit. Okay, we're back at the login screen. Man, <laughs> this login screen Asia server. There we goes. And okay, we're at the main city. And as you can see, there's still a lot of people playing in this game. And in this map, it's already maxed out. There's 95 people over here. That's still a lot of people, guys. And as you can see, all of the other channels are also occupied. So how about let's roam. Hey, wait a minute. What is that? There's a Dalmatian over here. Let's open up our storage box. I want to see my stuff. Oh, this is not my main account. <laughs> I remember now. My bad. It's been a while since I played this game. So I forgot where is my main account. This is my YouTuber account. Yeah. And I remember this. Look at this skin. This is how you do skins in MMOs. Not pay to win. So you can see, there goes my skin. It's just uh, normal clothes. But when you equip this skin over here, you get a skill like this. And when you use it, watch. There he goes. Now we're a Power Ranger. <laughs> That's how you monetize a game. Okay, so let's roam around. See? Man, there's a lot of people. Actually, it's kind of laggy. It's stuttering. Even though my frame rate is very high. The 1% lows happens frequently because other characters are loading in as I move. It's not a pleasing <laughs> experience. And as you can see, look at this, guys. There's a lot of people playing this game. This is just Krypeda. How about Orsha? Let's go to Orsha. Just full map. And let's go to Orsha. Man, I still hate this map that they did. When they did that, I'm confused. And before, it's so simple. And how many people is in Orsha? 40 people. 41 people at Channel 3. This is a very healthy game, guys. If you're in North America, you can play in the Asian server. Just don't compete. Okay, so how about let's check my bag over here. Man, I have a lot of stuff. I don't even remember any of this. <laughs> Okay, let's ignore this. Okay, so how about let's check our class. What did I pick over here? Bullet marker, clown, rangda. Why clown and rangda? This seems to be an odd bit. Oh, okay. I remember because I wanted to see what clown is. So I changed whatever I had here just to see clown. <laughs> okay, let's close that. How about let's check out the cash shop. Where's the cash shop? TP shop. There it goes. Man, nothing changed. Okay. So how about let's try doing the quest over here because I think it's interesting to show you guys because as you can see, this is my old account. I'm a returning player over here, right? So I am not dropped at this point. I don't have a... Oh, okay. There goes. I have a quest over here. I'm still level 450. So I think I need to do some of the other quests. And if you're a returning player, to do your quest again, just press the quest menu over here and look for the episode that you haven't done. What haven't I done? I think. Man, again. Okay, so I think I 
I haven't done this to the combat shortcut. Can we check it? Okay, I remember this. So how about let's just look for the map that's around level 50. Roam around there and look for that sacred at Spalvis. It's a new area to me. Let's do a little bit of the quest. So episode 14. No, 12. There it goes. 450. So let's warp over there. Nope. How about Lima Sanctuary? What's happening? Move to Lima Sanctuary. Nope. I need to level up. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna have to walk to a place close to this. Man, that's a trouble. There it goes. I can teleport to that place and do some quests. And why do I have a lot of skill points? Man, I think I haven't put stuff. Oh yeah, it's because I wanted to test it out and then I resetted it. I only have skills for bullet marker. <laughs> okay, is this it? Nope. How about this? Nope. Click this path. Okay, so how about this go over there? Man, where's my mount? <laughs> okay, let's try the skill. As you can see, guys, there's a lock on in this game. What's happening? Okay, there it goes. Big damage. What's happening? It's because the skills are the one that's strong. Okay. This is one of those hybrid combat. Functions like that targeting, but there's a lot of action elements along with it. Okay, so let's look for a quest. I need to find this quest over here. I probably did this a few years ago. <laughs> and there it goes. I just need to go over there so I can find this quest. Okay, we found the quest. So we need to find the Rangda girl by following the traces. The Rangda girl is already following us. What's happening here? Okay, so how about let's open up the stats to see... How much resources is this game is taking? GPU utilization, 18%. <laughs> okay. Hey, wait a minute. Where's the VRAM allocation? Ah, oh, man. I didn't check it. Okay, anyway. As you can see, guys, it's a very low spec game. It's only using around 20% of my GPU. So, you probably won't have any problem playing this game. It's happening here. Okay. Hunt down this enemy over. My fingers remember what to press, but <laughs> when I'm pressing it, it's not using any skill because my shortcuts is reset. I kind of remember. Okay, there you go. Finish him off. And he's dead. What do we need to do? Follow the traces. I oh, we need to go over here. Okay, there it goes. Interact with this quest. And what's next? Follow the traces. Man, there's a lot of enemies over here. What's happening? Oh, I need to tap the enemy before I can use the skill. That feels odd. Okay, just use Desperado. Interact with the quest. Okay, we're done with that quest. I think it's gonna lead me to another map. Okay, cutscene. And there goes the Rangda. We're rescuing somebody. And what's happening here? We're being attacked. Let's destroy them. What's happening? We're moving. Okay, Desperado to destroy all of them. We're a little bit overpowered for this quest. And we're done with that quest. Nope. Not yet. Okay, we don't have any more skill. <laughs> no worries. Enemies are not that strong anyway. Almost there. Desperado. And all of the enemies are dead. And that's Tree of Savior in 2024. So is Tree of Savior worth it? Yes, it is still worth it to play Tree of Savior. The game is consistently being updated. There's still hundreds of people playing. Tree of Savior is still checking a lot of the requirements of MMO players. So if you're feeling like it, go ahead, check it out. And guys, do you want to see the latest MMO news? There it goes on the screen. Leave a like before you go. And this is Gimme Hardcore. See you in the next one.